Watching Fox News White House correspondent Peter Ducey piss off these special needs press secretaries in the Biden administration never gets old. And as I said over the weekend, Monday was no exception to the rule. The deuce really brought the heat. Well, as much heat as he could without being kicked out of the White House press corps. As I've previously mentioned, Ducey, as usual, has been pretty much the only dogged member of the White House press corps concerning Joe Biden's classified document scandal, as we've previously discussed a situation that got even worse over the weekend when even more documents, including some from his time in the Senate, were discovered at his Wilmington, Delaware home, despite the American people being told multiple times Thursday by the press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, that the search was complete. During Monday's daily press briefing, Ducey surprisingly once again got several questions into Jean-Pierre on the subject, and she even more than usual struggled to come up with coherent answers every time he did so. While that's not exactly anything new for Jean-Pierre, she came across as even more confused and stupid than normal, which is not surprising considering she's the face of the administration and has been called out by numerous reporters over the last two weeks for not being honest about the particulars of the developments in the classified document saga. In his first question, Ducey, perhaps with the understanding in mind that Jean-Pierre was going to have to get even more creative and coming up with more excuses considering Saturday's news, asked her what four-letter word she let out when she heard that the documents had been found. She was clearly taken back by the question and just laughed. He then asked her to confirm if Biden was indeed intending to run for president again. Here's the clip. From this president. Go ahead, Peter. Thank you, Corrine. When you found out that the FBI had located even more classified materials in Wilmington, which four-letter word did you use? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, Peter. Um, Can't say. <laughs> Uh, President Biden is still intending to run for re-election in 2024, right? Uh, I'll just repeat what the president said after the midterm election, which is he intends to run. I'm going to be very careful from here, as you know, uh, because we are covered by the Hatch Act, and I'm not going to speak further to his process. After she affirmed that he had every intention of doing so, Ducey inquired as if she was aware if there was precedent for someone running for president after the FBI had searched their home. As Jean-Pierre dodged per use, Ducey made sure to point out to her what a big deal it was for President's homes to be searched by the FBI. She, of course, ended up pivoting to talking points about what Biden was doing for the American people. Yada, yada, yada. Here's the clip. Is there a precedent for people running for president after FBI agents search their sock drawer? Say that one more time. Say that beginning and part. Is there a precedent for people running for president after FBI It sounds like you it sounds like you already know that that the answer to that question. Look, here's what I, I don't here's know the answer to no, that question. Here's here's An here's the eye search of a president's residence is a big big deal. Here's what the president's going to focus on. He's going to focus on continuing to deliver for the American people. That's his focus. That's what he focuses on every day. That's what he's been focusing on the last 2 years. And nothing is going to change that. You think about the bipartisan infrastructure legislation, you think about the Inflation Reduction Act, you think about the Chips and Science Act, bipart those, the bipartisan one, the last two that I mentioned, done in a bipartisan way, that's what the president wants to do. He wants to continue to deliver on his economic plan that is going to build the economy from the bottom up, middle out. That is what matters to the president. Ducey also pointed out that House Oversight Committee Chair James Comer indicated that what's going on right now has, quote, all the makings of a potential cover-up. When he asked Pierre if that's what Biden was doing, she paused for a few seconds before defaulting to her standard answer, which was to lie and say that Biden was taking this very seriously. Here's the clip. The House Oversight Committee chairman says this document situation has all the makings of a potential cover-up. Is President Biden involved in a cover-up? We have been very clear here from this administration. The president has been very clear that um, he takes this very seriously when it comes to the, when it comes to classified information, when it comes to classified documents, and that his team has been um, has been fully cooperative 
uh, with this legal matter. Anything else, Peter? And this is, and I'm, I'm going to be very serious. You asked me kind of a question that everybody laughed at, which was interesting question to ask. But any other, uh, any other underlying questions that you may have, I would refer you to my colleagues, the White House Counsel. I'm going to continue to be prudent. I'm going to be continue to be consistent and refer you uh, to any questions you have there. Here's the full exchange between the two on all of the questions, just to get a better idea of how clueless Biden's spokesperson came across during the briefing. From this president. Go ahead, Peter. Thank you, Kareem. When you found out that the FBI had located even more classified materials in Wilmington, which four-letter word did you use? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, Peter. Um, Can't say. <laughs> Uh, President Biden is still intending to run for re-election in 2024, right? Uh, I'll just repeat what the president said after the midterm election, which is he intends to run. I'm going to be very careful from here, as you know, uh, because we are covered by the Hatch Act, and I'm not going to speak further to his process. Is there a precedent for people running for president after FBI agents search their sock drawer? Say that one more time. Say that beginning and part. Is there a precedent for people running for president after FBI it sounds like agents? You, it sounds like you already know that that the answer to that question. Look, here's what I, I don't here's know the answer to no, that question. Here's here's an here's, FBI here's, search of a president's residence is a big big deal. Here's what the president's going to focus on. He's going to focus on continuing to deliver for the American people. That's his focus. That's what he focuses on every day. That's what he's been focusing on the last two years. And nothing is going to change that. You think about the bipartisan infrastructure legislation, you think about the Inflation Reduction Act, you think about the Chips and Science Act, bipart those, the bipartisan one, the last two that I mentioned, done in a bipartisan way, that's what the president wants to do. He wants to continue to deliver on his economic plan that is going to build the economy from the bottom up, middle out. And that is what matters to the president. The House Oversight Committee chairman says this document situation has all the makings of a potential cover-up is President Biden involved in a cover-up? We have been very clear here from this administration. The president has been very clear that um, he takes this very seriously when it comes to the when it comes to classified information, when it comes to classified documents, and that his team has been um, has been fully cooperative uh, with this legal matter. Anything else, Peter? And this is, and I'm, I'm going to be very serious. You asked me kind of a question that everybody laughed at, which was interesting question to ask. But any other, uh, any other underlying questions that you may have, I would refer you to my colleagues, the White House Counsel. I'm going to continue to be prudent. I'm going to be continue to be consistent and refer you uh, to any questions you have there. Now, on one hand, I suppose I feel sorry for Biden's press secretary. Not really, but I guess I'm supposed to on some humanitarian level. Because considering the material and the amount of lies they are forced to spew at some point, it's just impossible to keep up. They did sign up for this clown show bullshit job in advance, knowing what they could be in for. So they deserve these types of perfectly legitimate inquiries every time they step to the podium. It's just really too bad that they get paid with taxpayer dollars to insult our intelligence every day. It really is remarkable to think back just a few years ago when President Trump would gladly walk into that room full, chock full of Peter Ducey's himself almost daily, take all their questions off prompter, unscripted. It really says a lot about our current leadership. And come to think of it, I don't see a single relevant Democrat willing to do that today. Do you? Most of this came by way of redstate.com. If you liked it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below. There's a PayPal link in the description box, so please put a dollar in the bucket on the way out the door. I'd like to thank everyone for all your donations. They're much needed and much appreciated. Now, with all that being said, we'll see you next time. Come on, move! Move! Easy, easy. Ah!